folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-March readings for all zodiac signs. Now, like I always say, they are general readings, so if they resonate with you, that's great, and if they don't, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. I do readings within 24 hours of contact, so whether you call me or shoot me an email, I can get something set up and done within the 24 hours. Readings are done either over the phone or in a private video that is sent to you by email. And the cost is the same no matter how you want to do it. So give me a shout if you're interested. If you'd like to learn tarot, I do have tarot card classes. There are five videos plus a bonus video. And I coach throughout the whole thing. So if you ever get stuck on anything, I'll be there to help. And my mystery healing boxes. There are small, medium, and large boxes plus the travel size box. I have a medium box here, made with the seashells. Now this is an open face box. Um, a friend of mine just bought a bunch of these and not only does she keep her stones in it, but she puts pulper in them too. And I thought what a great gift or a novel idea that is to, it looks great on a table or a desk or a bedroom and the room gets to smell nice too. <laughs> if you're interested, give me a shout. This reading is going to be for Aquarius. Let's find out what's going on with you in the middle of March Aquarius, are you trying desperately to get someone's attention? And this can go in a friendship, partnership, love ship, career ship, any one of those ships, Aquarius. Let's find out. Bottom of the deck. Aquarius, you have the Page of Wands. Now this usually comes from the suit of, can't, uh, spot, uh, I can't speak now. Aquarius, what did you do? <laughs> Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Get it out. It's a messenger, Aquarius. A message to take some sort of course of action. To move on something. And I think that something is going to get you moving. Aquarius, let's kick this like Bruce Lee. We're going to start off with the Ten of Swords. Now, this is feeling backstabbed, lied to, cheated on, you know, all of it. But tens are at the end of a cycle here, Aquarius. And what's crossing you to help or hinder, you have the three of pentacles. And the three of pentacles are being recognized for your fine skills, qualities, and crafts. Being recognized for the great person that you are, Aquarius. It's about getting accolades, it's about getting props, recognition. Now, Aquarius, if you are hell-bent on getting someone's attention and you're driving yourself crazy with it, stop. If this is in a love sense, friendship, partnership, any one of those ships, you don't lose sleep over it. Aquarius, your skills, your talents, your qualities... Your personality is going to speak for itself. And don't feel the need that you have to change, you know, yourself, your personality, so somebody will recognize you. Because stay you. And bring out all those fine qualities of you. You don't have to overthink something or think it's not going to work or if you're coming back from maybe a breakup or something that has been very traumatic for you, Aquarius, you'll come back better and you'll get that recognition because in your foundation, Aquarius, you have the six of wands. 
And this is overcoming a battle and being victorious, coming back from a battle and being victorious. This is also about getting recognition. This guy's winning. You know, props. Aquarius, is there something in your life, in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships, that you feel, you know, that you want a victory, that you want to be able to know that you conquered it and you didn't get defeated by it? Or are you still trying desperately to get somebody's attention here? And maybe you've had some failed attempts. Well, there'll be a new course of action to take there, Aquarius. Absolutely. Now, it's crowning your whole reading here, Aquarius. You got the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is the juggling act. The pro and conning of something. You could be juggling two jobs, juggling two situations. But I honestly think that it's pro and conning. You're trying to do the analytical thing like you do, Aquarius. The facts, the figures, the numbers, the things that make sense to you. But for some reason, whatever this scenario is, it's not making sense to you. You're not getting the recognition. Now, this could be, you know, if you're dealing with somebody else, it could be their energy that they're trying to get your attention, Aquarius. And it's like beating your head against the wall. If this is the other person trying to get your attention. Because the other way I can look at this, Aquarius, is that you're trying to do you. And if you've gone through something that has been very heavy, you're trying to make your own way. On your own terms. And some of you just might feel like it's, they can't. Now, the pro and conning here, Aquarius, about how you get this recognition. And if you are, you know, rising up from the ashes like a phoenix, coming back, might be a new ball of wax for you. Now, in the recent past, Aquarius, you have the card of justice. Also, the card of Libra. If you don't have something going on in the courts that sways you away, this is karmic justice. Something gets rectified. Something gets justified. Something gets made fair. Something gets balanced, Aquarius. Now, we are in a, a Mercury retrograde right now. And things come back. You know, things from the past. You know, situations. Things that weren't settled. Sometimes it's people. You know, but if something went... In the past that you thought was, hey, this is fair, this is cool. And you really thought that it wasn't fair. Something might come back, Aquarius, so you can get the recognition that you deserved. Now, that could be in a partnership, love ship, friendship, career ship. But something in the past here, Aquarius, you thought was justified and rectified. But now you're pro and conning about how to get that recognition again. How to be noticed for the skills, qualities, and crafts that you have. Or somebody trying to get your attention. Going into your future, Aquarius, you have the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is somebody who's been in the battle for a while, but not given up. Nines being close to a ten. You know, this guy's battle, wounded, weary. But he's in it all the way to the end. The one course of action that he took to get to these Nine Wands is the one he's going to take down all in the end. So, Aquarius, that's not about, you know, giving up. You're going to stay in there. You're going to stay in there until you get that victory. Until you get the accolade, the props, the recognition you deserve. And possibly the recognition that would be justifiably so. 
Because how people see you in your environment, Aquarius, they see you as the Eight of Pentacles. Now, this is somebody who's got their nose to the grindstone. They are maybe learning a skill, a craft, a trade, working on themselves to be the best Aquarius they can be. But he's so focused on either learning the skill or themselves, they don't see what's going on around them. It's almost like having television. And again, Aquarius, you know, if somebody's trying to get your attention, <laughs> will you please look up? <laughs> if you want somebody, you know, to recognize you and your skills, you know, look up. <laughs> Make eye contact. <laughs> you might have to, you know, do some Talking, communicating, you know, somebody knows where they stand and they know how intelligent you are. But be careful about who you're talking to. And Aquarius, be real careful about who you want attention from. Because in your environment, yeah, you get the devil. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. The devil is about addictions, obsessions, illusions. Codependency. Toxic ties here. Feeling bound and tied to a situation that you don't think is ever going to end or change a person as well. Somebody here is wearing a false mask because this is the medieval cat terrier that I'm using and that's a fox. Somebody's not who they say they are. Now, Again, Aquarius, if you're trying so hard to get somebody's attention, a boss, you know, potential partner, any one of those ships here, be as authentic as you can be. Come with you. And not this. If this is somebody else, you know, trying to get your attention You know, it would be them, you know, putting on an illusion, you know, just so you notice them. Maybe somebody else here, Aquarius, is trying to be something that they're not, just to get your attention. Now, in your hopes and fears, Aquarius, you have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Or someone who takes on these properties. This person is motivated. Driven. Get drive. Very creative. They go gets it done. They have a lot of, you know, passion for what they do. Now, Aquarius, maybe you're hoping to get motivated. Maybe you're hoping, you know, to spark a flame. Or, you know, just put something in motion. Because here, something's going to get in motion. You know, if you're hoping that, you know, somebody still gets it, you know, sees your creative side, sees your endeavors, or you them. It's definitely a hope that somebody has as much passion. Motivation, motiv being motivated and driven. Aquarius, this can go either one or two ways. Your outcome card is a tower. <laughs> now, here's something that comes in hard and fast out of left field. Never see the tower coming. And if something is going to grab your attention and make you lift your head, <laughs> nothing does it better than the tower. This is something that's surprising, something shocking. And I drew another card just to clarify this one. And you get the King of Cups. Now, this person here, okay, is very intuitive. He's got his emotions in check. King, Queen, don't matter. It's an energy. You know, he's stabilized in his feelings. And he can speak fluently in matters of the heart. 
that's usually Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. But if you're being very analytical or if you're just being, you know, negative about everything, the glass is always half empty. It's never half full. And you're bogged down with all the, why hasn't this happened yet? Why isn't this happening? Why don't I have this? Why don't I have that? Why isn't somebody giving me the recognition? Why doesn't someone see me the way, you know, I want to be seen? Something's going to happen here. Aquarius is going to come in. And your analytical side is going to have to be, you know, parallel with your emotions. So use your intuition here, Aquarius. Something's going to get rectified. Something's going to be justified. You're waiting. It's almost to an end. Just about to an end. So hold on, Aquarius. This one just might rock you. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.